All right, boys and girls, so the project we're going to go over in this video tutorial is going to show you how to create the background for your love collage, as well as how to collage the letters um, for your final artwork. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is you're going to need two sheets of plain paper, a pair of scissors, your bottle of glue from your art kit, and some markers and some crayons. Most of you may have already made your background, but in case you haven't made your background yet, I'm going to set one of my papers over to the side, and the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is fold my paper in half. I'm going to make sure that my paper is vertical on the tabletop. That means tall, and I'm going to take the bottom of my paper and I'm going to match it up with the top of my paper and I'm going to fold at the bottom. All right. Then I'm going to take the right side of my paper and I'm going to bring it over to the left side of my paper and I'm going to fold again down the middle. If I'm going too quickly for you, you can pause the video and you can uh, rewind it or uh, just wait till you catch up and then keep going. Okay. So when I open my paper back up, I'm going to notice that there are one, two, three, four rectangles. Now, our collage has the word love on it. If you don't want to use the word love, you can use a different word, but we need four rectangles for our word. So any word that you use should have four letters. So first things first, I'm going to take my markers and I'd like to use some crayons on this project. So I'm going to use my markers first because if I use my crayons first and then I go in with my markers, I could really hurt my crayons or my markers. Sorry. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace my uh, rectangles because I just want to have an idea of where I'm going to be drawing. Now, you do not have to do this. You might have some ideas of your own. Each rectangle could be a different color or a different pattern, but in the end, you want it to be, oh, see that marker's not working anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a different one. In the end, you want your patterns or your background to be very bright and colorful and filled in because that's gonna help our letters stand out even more. So again, I'm just tracing uh, my rectangles so that I know where to put my pattern. Now, for this project, we were talking all about Martin Luther King, and we were talking about all of the things that he believed in. He believed in uh, peaceful protesting. He believed in um, listening to those that were different from him and trying to help not just himself, but tr trying to help all people who uh, wanted equal rights. He also chose to love people instead of hating. And this artwork it's helping us to think about those things that he believed in, but at the same time, um, create something that is unique to you. So when you're creating a pattern, you can use lines, you can use colors, and you can use shapes. Now, when you're making shapes, you could definitely use symbols as well. All right, so on my pattern, maybe I want to add some peace symbols because remember Dr. Martin Luther King, he believed in being peaceful. All right, so I'm going to add some peace symbols and he also believed in love. So I'm going to go ahead and color this one too. Now, if you want to create two different patterns, op I, I chose to uh, repeat mine over here, one corner to one corner, but you could have a different pattern in each rectangle. I'm going kind of quickly, but if you need to pause the video and, and stop and work on your pattern and then come back, go ahead and do that. So besides peace, he believed in love. So I'm going to choose some shapes or some symbols that represent love. All right. And then once I have a pretty good pattern, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make some lines on this one. 
that go one way and the other. Phew, excuse me, I just had a sneeze. Whew, that came out of nowhere. And all right, so now I've got some pattern going one way and then the other way. And maybe I'm gonna go in and add one last detail. All right, so remember, I'm working with my markers first. And I'm gonna go in with my crayons second. If all you have are your crayons today, then it's okay. You can go ahead and just color in your patterns using your crayons. Or if all you have are markers today, go ahead and fill in using those. All right, so again, once I'm done with my markers, I'm going to start to take my crayons and I'm going to start to fill it in. So I'm going to fill in some big areas. There we go. Take your time. Again, really make that pattern nice and bright. Very colorful and filled in. All right, so I could keep coloring and keep coloring and keep coloring, but at this point, I think I want to switch over and start to show you uh, what you're going to go ahead and do with the letters. So if my background is completely finished and colored in, I'm going to go ahead and get my second piece of paper out. I'm going to put away my markers and my crayons, and I'm going to get out my glue and my scissors. All right. So again, I'm not totally finished with my pattern, but if I was, I would move on to the next step of my project. All right. So I'm going to move, move these aside set my pattern paper over to the side and this is part two all right so part two again i'm going to take my a second white sheet of paper and i'm going to go ahead and fold it in half again so i'm going to take the bottom of the paper and line it up with the top and fold it and then i'm going to take the right side of my paper and line it up with the left and fold it so just like on my pattern paper, now when I open my paper back up, I've got one, two, three, four rectangles. All right, so I'm gonna take my, my scissors and I'm gonna cut down the middle. Again, if I'm going too quickly for you, you can pause and rewind. There we go. I'm gonna cut down the middle on my left piece of paper and I'm gonna cut down the middle on the right. I'm following those folded lines that I have. All right, so I now have one, two, three, four rectangles, and they're all separate. I'm gonna save one of my rectangles, and I'm gonna stack the other three rectangles up together. So I have them stacked together, and I kind of tap it on the table to, to make sure they're lined up, and I'm gonna cut these into fourths. In order to do that equally, I'm going to take my scissors and go to the bottom of my page and I'm going to find the middle. I'm going to cut down the middle like that and now I have two halves. Now I'm going to take my scissors again, find the bottom of my page on one of my halves and I'm going to cut down the middle. And I'm going to do that one more time. So I find the bottom of my page and cut in half there we go all right so now i have my strips and i have one whole piece of paper i'm going to go ahead and move my strips over to one side and i'm going to move my whole sheet of paper over to this side all right so i've got my background paper remember mine wasn't completely done um, but I can finish that up. I want to show you how to do the letters for step two. All right, so our letters are L, O, V, E. So we're going to make an L for box one, an O for box two, a V for box three, and an E for box four. So first thing I'm going to go ahead and do for my L, take two of my strips. I'm going to give one of them a tiny haircut 
and that's the back of my L. And I'm going to take the other and cut it in half. That's the bottom of my L. Now I'm just going to lay my letters out and then I'll come back and glue them in the end. So my next letter is my O and I'm going to use my big piece of paper. We'll come back and do that one last. All right. So next letter L O and then I need to make a V. So I'm going to take two pieces of paper and line them up together, kind of crisscross. And I'm going to trim off the end and I have a nice V to fit in my box three. All right. Last letter on is my E. So I'm going to take another couple strips. I'm going to give my long back piece a, a little haircut. There we go. I'm going to take a second strip and cut it in half. That's the top and the bottom of my E. And then I'm going to take a little, a little piece that I had left over from another one and trim it just a bit. And that's going to be the inside of my E. So now I have my L, a space for my O, a V, and an E. All right. So let's talk about our E or our O. I'm sorry, our O. I'm going to move this over to the side. Now we could make an O. You could make an O out of your strips and just piece them together and make an O the same way you made your O on all your other letters. You, this is option one, you could do that. Or if you have a different way of making an O, you could, you could do that as well. Or you can use a symbol to represent your O. And our word is love, so our symbol would be a heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make a heart. I'm gonna fold my paper in half and crease it down the middle. And then I'm going to take a marker or, or a pencil and I'm going to draw half of my heart. I'm going to start on the folded side of my paper and I'm going to end on the folded side of my paper. I'm going to come up and around and over like I'm making an ear and then I'm going to bring it to a point at the bottom. So again, I went up and around and over and I brought it down to a point at the end. Remember, you're only drawing half of your heart because when we unfold our paper, we'll see the other half. So I'm going to cut along my line and cut out my heart. So I've got some scrap and then I've got my wonderful heart. Now, you could leave this as it is and put it in the space for your O or you could do one last thing. You could leave your paper folded and draw one more heart. So start at the center line and come up and around and over. And then you're gonna go ahead and cut that out. So I'm gonna cut out that inside heart like that. And now my heart looks more like our, our heart O. All right, all right. Once I have all my letters cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my, my liquid glue bottle or a glue stick, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue my letters together and glue them down. So a dot, a dot, I don't need a lot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my letter and do a dot, a dot, I don't need a lot. And then I'm gonna glue that into place. You're gonna go ahead and glue all of your letters. And then at the end, you should have a wonderful colored in uh, Martin Luther King love collage. We colored in our background using really wonderful, beautiful patterns. And then we created our letters out of a blank sheet of paper. If you don't have white paper, you could definitely use any color or magazine or newspaper. I can't wait to see what you guys created. Don't forget to take a photograph of it and upload it to Schoology. I'll see you hopefully soon in person, but I can't wait to see the art you made this week. Alvida Zane.